the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With and happy, welcome to Holy Week. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that, through, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, <clears throat> upon whom I have put my spirit, he shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench. Until he establishes justice on the earth, the coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens, and stretch them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to his people and spirit to those who walk on it. <clears throat> I, the, <clears throat> excuse me, I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The light is my light and my salvation. Through an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Through war be waged upon me, even though will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The, the Lord, Lord is my Lord light and, and my salvation. salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our force. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. With you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served, while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a liter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of the disciples, and the one who would betray him, said, Why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag 
and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, leave her alone. Let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of Jews found out that he was there and came not only because of him, but also because of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the words of the gospel may have sins be wiped away. There are many teachings in today's gospel, and we also tend to want to focus on Judas Iscariot. But I'm not going to do that today. Instead, let us concentrate on the fact that Mary broke open a large bottle of uh, aromatic nard of oil and anointed Jesus' feet. Now, if you honored your guest, you usually washed their, or allowed them to wash their feet when they came into your house because through the day they either went barefoot or they wore sandals uh, and the d feet were the part that got dirty the fastest, right? Throughout the day, you wash the feet, you wash your hands, you were essentially clean uh, after a day's work. Um, so Jesus being a guest uh, and an honored guest, it's very likely that Mary had actually bent down and washed his feet for him, as you do for an honored guest. And uh, in, in her humility and in honoring him. And then went a huge step farther and anointed his feet with this aromatic nard, this oil, a healing oil, a preserving oil, a sealing oil, and one that had a beautiful fragrance to honor him. And... Judas, of course, uh, is saying in here, that it was worth nearly a year's worth of, of money to keep someone alive. You could have given it to the poor, yet you poured it on Jesus' feet. And Jesus said, leave her alone. You will always have the opportunity to help the poor. They'll always be with you. But I will not always be with you. In fact, within the week, he will be dead. So... Uh, it, that's a, a teaching that we need to remember. On different levels, if you have an opportunity to help someone, to reach out and help the poor and people in need, don't put it off. Do it now. Don't say, well, we'll do it later. Because you may not have later to do this great thing. And uh, to lose an opportunity to do goodness for one another is a tremendous loss for them and for us. And specifically, this week is Holy Week. We have the opportunity to walk with Jesus, to be with Jesus, to adore Jesus, to love him, as he goes to give his life, his physical life, his blood and his divinity to save our lives. We have the opportunity to be with him this week, not next week, only this week. You know, we sang at church yesterday. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? This week you can say, yes, I was there. Let us be there with him. Let us be there with him this week. This is the week that we have the opportunity to give of ourselves to Jesus as he gives all that he is in his humanity and in his divinity for us. Let us rejoice and let us give of ourselves and be with Jesus this week. And let our actions this week and our learning this week and our prayers this week be an aromatic nard that fills our homes with holiness and goodness and light and life in preparation for that day when Christ is risen from the dead and we are risen 
from the dead. Let us join in our hearts and voices in presenting our petitions to the Father. For the church throughout the world, may the grace of God continue to strengthen and nourish her. Let us pray to the Lord. For those in authority, may God give them strength in their efforts to uphold the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who seek forgiveness, may God's mercy work in and through them and bring peace. Let us pray to the Lord. For our faith community of Our Lady of Lords here and around the world, may the grace of the sacraments purify our hearts let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have died, may God welcome them into his eternal kingdom of love and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Today we offer this Mass for Anne Rosanto, I'm sorry, Anne Rosado and Gerard Erickson. May God embrace them in his kingdom, give them peace, joy, life, and hear their prayers for us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all the people who sin. Our Holy Mother has asked us to pray for sinners. And so we pray for the redemption of all sinners everywhere, especially this week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we and we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Father of mercy, we offer our prayers and ask that you look upon them with favor through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our, for our good and good of all this holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred, the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. In this meeting of the body and blood of Christ. May this meeting of the body and blood of Christ, our Lord Jesus, and the eternal life for us who receive. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, 
free me by this your most holy body and blood from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments. Never let one depart from me. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and the soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep you safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. What has passed our lips as fruit, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart. And what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these, these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, now, just a reminder, here in the, our entire diocese and the three dioceses around us, uh, we're having a, a day of reconciliation. So here specifically, uh, and in most churches, uh, we will have confessions available in the church from 3 o'clock straight through to 9 o'clock tonight. So it's, it's a long time if you need to go. To, we'll also have confessions later in the week as well on Friday and Saturday. But um, today is an opportunity to find a time to go and free yourselves of your sins, to empty ourselves of the weight that we carry, to protect ourselves and to open ourselves to the forgiveness that Jesus is purchasing for us this week. That we, may, we may walk with him in joy and in sorrow, in death, and in life. The Lord be with you. Be with you. Bow your heads for the blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities, not only with bodily observance, but above all, with purity of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. Michael, the archangel, defend us, God. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be with you in humble pray. And do thou enter the heaven above. By the power of God, we have to see the devil's and the holy evil spirits who travel about the world, and the evil of the souls. We never hope of the gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it so, that anyone who fled to thy protection, and who would thy help, or saw thy intercession, Left Inspired by this confidence, we fly us to thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. Thee to be come before thee we stand, sensible and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word and the Mind, despise our God. For in thy mercy, be turned as thus, and as in our Lady of Glory, pray for us.